Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own hop files for OMC2. So first you might need to know where your um, OMC2 directory is. So I'm just going to show you that now. Mine's in disk D, Steam library, Steam apps, but you'll also be in local disk C, Steam, uh, no, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and it should come down in there. Instead mine comes up in... Um, local disk D, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then it comes down in there, and that's your OMC2 directory. And you, should, you should see this when you click on OMC2. Maybe some things might be a different, bit different, like you might not have Cotterell, uh, you might not have... So like if I click on add-ons, you might not have that. Uh, you might not have... We'll get the point. So, to do this, you need to have a Hoff Suite. Um, you can do it by a notepad, but I find half sweet easier because you you're not going to make mistakes when you do this. Um, so you're going to need to download half sweet and just download the first one from October the 27th, 2018, because that is the newest version, and I just think it works the best. Yes. So um, once you've done that, it will download, and you just need to open up half sweet, and we'll get to that right now. Okay, so this is what you'll see when you come on a half sweet. Um, so what we're going to do is, if you want to copy one, I'm going to suggest that you copy it from the folder first, um, and then do something with it. Well, I'll get to that in a minute on how to copy them and stuff. So, we're going to make a brand new one, uh, so just press new, um, display name, you can put anything, but I'm just going to put, um, let's say, Gini Desk because um, I'm already I've already started doing a go northeast destination pop file. So then you just copy the same thing in all of these. Create, create, create. And um, hold on, I've got some. Okay, so um, I'm just changed back to the display capture scene because I feel like it's easier to do it this way. So then you press this first dot here, which will come up destinations, and you'll have nothing. So first off, I think we need to make a blank which is just you don't change anything there and then not in service now hold on let me spell properly so this ibis code thing you're gonna have to change because that's the thing that that's the code you put in on the bus display uh, in the cab uh, but you don't have to change it i do so this top line ibis one is what will come up in the on the bus um on the IBIS display when you're choosing what destination you want. So I can just put that as not in service. And then Annex 1, that's the top line of your destination board. And I will show you all this in a minute when we get on OMC. So in here you can just put not in service. And then underneath you can put like either your company operator or sorry or um I don't know. So I'm just gonna put in go north east annex the side you just need to put not in service again um and you don't need to change anything else that's it for not in service so we'll, we'll make another one but what i'll do is i'll open the one i've got one so this is one i've been already um doing and I've been using the Go North East website, which we've got here on the services. So I've just been using this um, to get the um, desk. So let's just choose the X for example. Get the destinations of both ends, and then maybe get a middle one to see for the second line of your destination screen. So you could see um, X20 Sunderland via Rain Bridge or something like that. Um, so that's what I've been doing. So if we just click on, we'll do one here. Uh, new air gate said. Um, actually, that reminds me, I do need to get rid of this one because it doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to do that for everyone. So I've just got here um, Q. So on the IBIS, you get Q1 gate said. Um, on the top line, you get gate said, and then via Springwell. Uh, I might change that to Reckonton. It doesn't matter. Also, you need to make sure that your um, your uh, your 
text fits on here because you, you've only got these amount of dots, right? So if I did this and was like, okay, well, I kind of want to put in a uh, gate's head interchange, for example. Oops, sorry. Gate's head interchange. I could only do up to the C because I don't have enough room on the screen. So that's how that one works. Then you've got like the, the other, you need to do both ends. I think it just works better. New, um, you've got the 97, which actually kind of works for me because I've got a, um, I've got a green arrow reskin. Um, so that just makes sense. Uh, I'm just trying to get rid of all of this while I'm here. Little blue buses by the way. Um and I'll go into I'll go into OMSI and I'll show you um what you do. You can put anything in these, so you could you could put like um I'm just going to make a new one. Um, so remember always to change the IBIS code. Um, and I'm just going to look for one. I'll pick one. Let's see. The X50, right? We'll choose the X50. So we'll go um, Metro Center in brackets X50. IBIS one will do X50 Metro Center. Put the on. Then you go. A metro center, and then underneath you can put like Coach Park or something, because that's where it actually goes to. Um, on the annex side, you can put like um, NUFC um, Park and Ride. That's what I'm going to put. Ride. Um, and that's one end done. Do the other end, change it to uh, 19. You need to do uh, St. James's Park X50. I have one that would do X50, maybe Newcastle, because you might not be able to fit St. James's Park on there. And then you do Newcastle St. James's. Is the Saint, is it? I don't know. No, it's just that. St. James's Park. And then on the side, NUFC, Park, and... Oh, I, I put it an symbol, didn't I? Park and Ride. Okay, so I'm just going to save that, um, and we'll hop in OMSI, and we'll, um, we'll say it live on a destination. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, when you're making your first route for the first time, and you need to save it for the first time, save it into the bus that you want it, and if you want it in multiple buses, save it into one bus, copy it and paste it into the other buses. So for example, if we've got a file explorer, um, I've got my hold on, hold on. With vehicles, I've got it in my master light somewhere, um, going off these desks. And then you go back, um, I've got it in the E200 uh, and so on and so on. So just make sure you save it in the right bus that you want it on as well. Okay, so I'm here on OMSI. Um, there's a menu in the bottom right that you can't see because OMSI doesn't, OBS doesn't pick it up for some reason. So I'm just going to spawn a bus in which will also, the menu will also not come up. If it does, then it, it has. Um, so I'm just going to go into my street light. Just go into any old street light. Also, when you're in this menu, I'm going to see if I can actually try and get it. Actually. Oh, you can see. What? Okay, I don't know what in the world has happened there, but I've managed to do something. Uh, so, we'll get the bus. Make sure when you're in the menu to change it to your, um, where it says it'll come up with manufacturer type appearance and depot make sure you select GNE desks or whatever your you've named it and uh, I'm gonna spawn it at the Yorkshire Terrier garage and I'm just I'm I'm really gonna make sure you can see this because this is a very important 
bit of spawning the bus and you know. Come on. Oh, are we are we here? Are we are we here? Hey, right. So I've got my street light here, which is kind of lopsided for some odd reason. Uh, and I'm just going to go in the cab and I'm going to set it up, and it'll let me. There we go. Uh, so, okay. So the bus is set up. Um, I don't actually have to move it anywhere, but I'm going to just put the move. No one cares. So then, I think there's another menu that you also can't see, so I'm just going to put in 50, uh, no, which which one have we just done? Five, the uh, X50. I'm going to put that one in, and I'm going to, so, and then I'll just put that on the front, and when it loads, you should be able to see on the front that it has changed to Newcastle St. James's Park. There's NUFC Park and Ride on the back, and it says Newcastle St. James's Park on the back. So that's how you change your destination on OMC2. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, Yes. I'll uh, see you next time.